Hi, my name is Riley. Today we're doing an ice production test on a Horizon ice machine. So we let the ice machine run for about 15 minutes. Then we're going to shut the ice machine off. We're going to change our TDS switch to low. Then we're going to turn the power back on. And then we're going to hit the reset button located on the circuit board. That's going to reset the circuit board for the flush timing so that the unit doesn't flush during our production test. First thing we did is let the ice machine run for 15 minutes and then we separated the ice transport tube at the Louvre docking station. We're letting it dump into a bucket which I've already weighed. We have a thermocouple on the inlet side of the condenser and then we also have one on the incoming water. We're going to collect ice for exactly 15 minutes and then weigh it. So after 15 minutes, exactly 15 minutes, we're going to shut off the power switch. We're going to reconnect the ice transport tube to the Louvre docking station. And then we're also going to remember to change our, our, our TDS back to the high setting. So now that we're going to take our bucket down, we're going to, we're going to weigh it and then we're going to subtract the weight of the bucket and get the ice production that we had in 15 minutes. Okay, we came up with an air temperature, a constant air temperature, a 72, a water temperature, a 68, and we got nine pounds even of ice on our, in 15 minutes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our nine pounds of ice, we're gonna multiply that by four. That's gonna give us how many pounds per hour, which would be 36. Then we're gonna take that 36, we're gonna multiply it by 24. That's gonna give us how much we're making in a day, in our case, that was uh, 864. On this chart, if we look, we, we would take our 70 degree ambient air temperature, our 70 degree water temperature, and our, our expected production rate is 871 pounds. We had 864. We're looking of a plus or minus 10% for our factors. What this is gonna do is prove that our ice machine is making good quality ice and it's making the proper production. So once you have your ice production and you compare it to the chart, if you're below the expected ice capacity, what you'd want to do is make sure your ice machine is clean, make sure your condenser is clean, and put a set of gauges on to make sure your refrigeration system is healthy. If you're above the expected ice capacity, typically that means that you're going to have a dip or trap in your ice transport tube where the ice is actually collecting water as it goes to the transport tube. So you'd want to look at your transport tube run to make sure that you're pitching properly a quarter inch per foot back to the ice machine. Use the following charts for your particular model of ice machine. 